Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all my favorite brushes, the best brushes that I've tried, and they are all affordable. It's not a sponsored video, but most of these are all $1. If you watched any of my videos last year, you know that I totally fell in love with the new AOA Studio brushes, but I have other brushes as well. These are pretty much all the brushes I use whenever I'm doing like an intricate eye look. I just really wanted to show y'all my favorite brushes because it's changed a lot since my last one. My last one was like a year and a half ago probably. If you want to see this makeup look, just click up here. It looks a lot different now because I changed my lipstick and put on mascara. I feel like you don't have to buy high-end brushes to get good brushes. Pretty much my entire makeup collection is drugstore or affordable. I do agree brushes, if you get the good ones, they'll last you for forever. I just can't justify spending $30 on one brush. These feel so much more high quality than $1. I just washed my brushes a few days ago and I haven't done an intricate eye look because I didn't want to get them dirty. I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. Hopefully this pink background is okay. I literally keep using my white one and I'm just like, I need to smudge it out. These are all the brushes that I have. All of them except for one or two of them are a dollar. I guess I'll start with the face brushes. All of the black handled brushes, including the eye brushes, are in a 10 piece set. I don't actually use all of these brushes, but since they come in a set, I thought I would mention them. I'll tell you the ones that I use on a daily basis. My most used brush out of this collection is the A studio f24 and this is just like this round brush and it's pretty precise i use this for contouring and actually recently i've also been using it for blush i've used it to wipe off bake if i'm going somewhere then i'll just bring this brush and then my highlighter brush this can do everything and all these are really soft i don't know what else to say about a brush but this is so good my other favorite from the set is this f22 and i never thought that i would like this kind of brush but if y'all watched any of my videos when i first got this brush set i was raving about this so much because this is the best blush brush and it just distributes it evenly on your face i dip it in tap it off and then tap it on i used to use a stipple brush but a stipple brush just applies a super pigmented blush streaks on your face this one is just super good super smooth it's like dense enough but it's also floppy enough i don't know how you say that i love this full blush these three i don't use as much this f21 is a good bronzer brush i just most of the time just use Use this brush for bronzer because I don't have that big of a face. If you use like a face powder all over your face and you don't use a sponge, this would be a good brush for that as well. This F25 is just like a more tapered kind of brush. If you like setting your under eyes with a powder brush then I would recommend this and this is good for also like a super sharp contour as well this is also good for blush like honestly you can use this for anything I use this mainly to like sweep away fallout and sweep away my base this one is just my least used just because I use this fun for my foundation f23 flat top powder slash foundation brush I've used this with my BB cream because I don't use the foundation as you guys know if you like these kind of brushes for foundation or if you use powder foundation on top of your foundation or just powder foundation I would definitely recommend this I recommend this whole brush set obviously that's why I'm talking about it but if you're gonna buy it, then these are the brushes that it's going to come with so I just thought I'd show you them all so you know what I would use them for or what I used to use them for before I like minimalized my kit or whatever I don't know. So these are the five base brushes that come in that set. I really like them. They're super soft but if they ever sold them separately then I would recommend these two definitely and these three if you like know you're going to use them. I'm just going to keep going with the face brushes even though those black handled brushes comes in tin and there's like eye brushes for it. I'll mention those later. My highlighter brush is the AOA Studio F19. This is literally the best highlighting brush ever and it just blends your highlight in so well. It makes it a seamless line and you could also use this to set your under eyes. Once again, if you watch any of my videos, this is the only brush I ever use for highlighter. This brush I've just recently started using again. This is the e.l.f. Stipple brush. I just use this for my e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I just swirl it all in, just buff it everywhere on my skin. And then if I want like more of a chiseled look, then I'll go in with this. I also just use this sometimes to just blend in my blush and my bronzer together. Also with the face, I use this sponge, also from a studio they've reformulated these ones but i'm glad because apparently there were inconsistencies and i definitely got some inconsistent ones i actually really like this sort of sponge i never thought that i would the only thing is i wish this was pointed a little more it literally just ripped a few weeks ago and i've had it for like at least six or eight months literally so soft i use this to blend out my primer to blend out my concealer to press in my powder to bake i use this for everything i love it so much and it makes your skin look so much more natural and now onto eye brushes i'm gonna mention the black handled ones first some of them are from the pink handle brush set and some of them are singles that i've bought these are the five brushes in that kit. Pretty much use all of them, but I have a specific purpose for three of them and then the other two I just use whenever I need to. These two smaller ones are the E139 and E138. It's more 
angled one I'll use to like really precisely highlight the brow bone. Sometimes I'll use it for a more natural inner corner. This one that's just more rounded I'll use for the lower lash line. Sometimes I also use this for the brow bone. It just depends. And if you like a really precise nose highlight, you can do that as well. <laughs> these I kind of just interchange. I just like this one a little more for the brow since it is angled. And these three are just like blending brushes. This is the E136 and it kind of goes to like a point. Compared to this one, this one goes like a rounded point and this one just flares out. Because this is pointed, I'll use this for more precise crease work. If I don't need as precise as my e.l.f. detail crease brush, then I'll use this. This E137 is literally just like the e.l.f. blending brush. This is good for like packing on the outer corner. Most of the time I use this for like a super highlighted messy brow bone. And then just this typical like crease brush, the E135 is just good for whenever I'm just doing like one color. Then I'll go ahead and get this e.l.f. brush out of the way. The e.l.f. detail crease brush is literally such a good brush. I don't know what I did before I had this. I love this for the lower lash line for more of a blended look. I also really like it if I have some Something blended here and I want like another peak of color I'll also use it for connecting like my inner corner whenever I do like a big inner corner like that I'll just use it for a lot of precise work I really love this brush so much and for the AOA studio like pink brush set which is what comes in this I'm just gonna go through all of them this is the E132 this is just like a super tiny short packed brush and this is what I use to pack a lot of color in my crease before I blend it out You've seen that in like any of my James Charles videos. And then also I just use it for a super packed lower lash line. You can use this for brow bone. You can use it for inner corner. It's very versatile. E129. This is like a kind of paddle brush where it goes thinner this way and goes flat out this way. And I like using this for like super precise work in the crease that I want still like blown out, but I don't want it to go on the lid. E125. It's an angled brush. I really like having my brow bone showing. And this is what I use throughout my whole makeup look to blend my brow bone into the shadow. E131. Just a normal flat shade brush i feel like it is a little shorter than most ones but i just feel like this for getting like super precise in the lower lash line i'll use it just to like flick up some shadow liner if i do a cut crease and i need to get the shadow super close to the line then i'll do that e133 double ended this is like a super precise angled brush in my makeup favorites for 2018 this is what i used to flick up that green wing that i had this makes it super easy because it's so tiny and like it's not the softest but i'll use this to like comb out mascara and this is the only brush that that has shed. None of the other ones have shed while I wash them. I'll pull out like eight hairs probably washing it so by the time I've washed this like 80 times there probably won't be any hairs left. Doesn't ever shed whenever I'm doing my makeup. These three brushes are kind of like the big one and then the tinier one and the tinier one. E126 and when I used to do transition shades this is what I would use to buff my transition shade all over my lid. It's what I'll use whenever I'm doing one of my like wash of color looks. E130 and this is just a little smaller and a little more dense so this is good for like the more difficult colors for my wash of color looks. I'll also use this for like the lid and blending in the crease. E128 which which is such a good brush for building up like the outer corner. Whenever you go in with super deep shades, sometimes whenever you blend them out, they lose their pigment. With this, it kind of just blends out as you build it up. It is a fluffier brush, but it's also dense. E139, and this is like literally the tiniest brush ever. And this is what I'll use also if I'm getting super precise to the lower lash line or the inner corner. Sometimes I'll also use this to flick up a wing. I almost forgot one. This is the fluffiest transition brush. E127, and this was the E126, and like this is like even fluffier and this is what I would use to fluff the transition shade all over my lid and this is what I do for like a little more precise and then it like goes down from there onto my single brushes there's two from AOA studio this is the f16 and it's super precise and it says that it's supposed to be a lip brush I use this for super precise on my lower lash line. I also use this for cut creases. E124 is another lower lash line brush. This is more for super intense and not being precise, not being blended, but being like full on color. And I also use this for whenever I have pimples, I'll take some pigmented powder and then press it on there. And the last two brushes that I just wanted to throw in here, I don't use these as often anymore just because the brushes in the AOA Studio one have replaced this definitely. This one is kind of similar to this one. This one is kind of similar to this one. The reason that I'm mentioning them is because the only difference basically is that they are less densely packed. This is the crease brush and this is the blending eye brush. These are just good brushes that if you want like a more everyday look and you want something that you can find at the drugstore because these are at like CVS, Target, whatever, those you have to order online. These are just good beginner eye brushes and they're 99 cents. So I feel like that kind of seemed like a lot. These sets come with literally everything you need. Just buy each of those sets and there you go. Those two elf brushes I really love and they're totally worth it. 
beginning these just make eyeshadow so much easier definitely have changed my eyeshadow game like i used to think that all these eye brushes were not necessary i don't feel like they're necessary but they do help with the blending process and with the easeability and i like how they're all in one set so you don't have to figure out take singles and be like oh i guess this is what i need i guess this is what i need but you just buy this one set and you get everything you need full very cheap once again, this isn't sponsored. I just love Chamisee so much and I feel like their brushes are something that is overlooked. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up and also tell me down below your favorite brushes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!